I want to say to God be the glory, great is he hath done. So love he the world that he gave us his song. Who oh, yield there is life and atonement for sin. And open the life gate that all may go in. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the heart hear his voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the people rejoice. Who oh, come to the Father through Jesus the Son and give him the glory. Great is he had done. Mr. President, my respected colleagues, I want to thank God Almighty, who is the supreme controller of the universe, for being alive and sitting here today. You will recall severally, Mr. President, I address you as the irremovable president of the Nigerian Senate. When canker worms and caterpillars arise against thee, when the seat of power took you to the um, Code of Conduct Bureau, when the state petitioned you and took you to the court and established a case of forgery against you, today, Mr. President, you are not just completing your time, but you are going to have an, a glorious exit against the machinations of some demons. I congratulate you, I congratulate you, I congratulate you, and today, to, to my surprise, many of those who orchestrated your removal, who orchestrated your downfall on this floor, called you their mentor said you have done well, said you have led us well. Mr. President, it is your time to laugh. Mr. President, I give glory to God that when I came into the Senate on the 9th of June 2015, Mr. President, because of the importance of this very last session of this Senate, I move that we suspend our order to enable the Senate sit beyond 2 p.m. to allow all our colleagues who want to speak up to have the opportunity to do so. I so move. colleagues, I second the motion as moved. Distinguished colleagues, those in favor of the motion say aye. aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have it. Mr. President, took on me and planned a recall exercise. I was in police custody, Mr. President, when the recall failed woefully. I am here to thank God because in 2017, I was arrested eight times. In 2018, I was arrested 18 times. And out of 365 days in 2018, I spent 124 in police custody. Mr. President, I campaigned only four days to the election. Mr. President, I have every cause to glorify God who is above every other man. Mr. President, last year I was arraigned in 12 different courts. Federal government versus Dino Melaye, we are in 12 courts. But here am I standing not only standing, returned undisputedly as a senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and I say to God alone, be the glory forever and ever. Amen. Mr. President, I have two historical days I will never forget in the history of the Eighth Senate. One is a day of joy and day of merriment. One is a day of sorrow and a day of pain. The day of joy, the day of merriment was the day. One single Nigerian with multiple competences. One man who is indoctrinated with the act of civil administration and the rudiment of politics. Intellectually mobile and administratively sagacious. I am talking about the day 
Abubakar Bukola Saraki became the president of the Nigerian Senate. It was a day of joy. It was a day of happiness. It was a day of progress. And my brother, my elder brother, and the intellectual bank of the Nigerian Senate, Ike Ikoha Igbo, became the deputy president of the Nigerian Senate. It was a day of joy. My day of sadness, my day of weeping, was the day my own colleague, Ovio Muagege, became a male thief. Was the day dissidents, thugs, desecrated the chamber of the Nigerian Senate. Was the day he led criminals to move the symbol of democracy, to move the symbol of authority out of the sacred chamber of the Senate. And that day, Mr. President, just like the Bible said, Jesus wept. That day, Mr. President, I wept. <laughs> Mr. President, going further, I want to advise us as Senators of the Federal Republic of Nigeria that once you take a hold of office with the Bible on your right hand or the Quran on your right and the Constitution of the Federal Republic on the left, you cease to represent your political party on this platform. You cease to, re to represent your religious organization on this platform. You cease, Mr. President, to represent either a cabal or a group of leaders outside this chamber. We must know that in the Ninth Assembly, fortunate or, fortunately or unfortunately, some of us are going to be there, Mr. President. We will continue to speak without fear or favor that Nigeria shall be ahead of any political permutation, any presidential or gubernatorial permutation, any party permutation, Nigeria shall come first before any selfish interest. And we will ensure that, and we will stand by that, and we will continue to speak the truth, not by the news of this guy. Mr. President, I congratulate my colleagues who are coming back. You have another opportunity to prove that you are truly a Nigerian. Because, Mr. President, no Nigerian is more Nigerian than any other Nigerian. We must prove that we are here on behalf of the people. And we must continue to do only those things that will promote the unity and prosperity of Nigeria. Enough of presidential orders, enough of party directives, any order that is contrary to the progress, the unity and prosperity of Nigeria should not be entertained on the floor of the Senate. Mr. President, I'm going to miss a lot of my colleagues. And I use this opportunity to also pray for the repose of three of our colleagues whom we came into this chamber together, but today they are no more. I pray for the repose of their souls, and I ask that Almighty God will grant them mercy, and they will make eternity. Finally, Mr. President, I want to assure my brothers and sisters that the service to humanity is not only in this chamber. I encourage the likes of Mori Ben Bruce, to continue to do those things, those beautiful ideas should not expire because you are not in the Senate. You should continue to contribute your quota to national development. I make the same call to Goswil Akpabio that as a retired senator who is not going to be with us in the Ninth Assembly, you should also continue or start to do those things that will continue, that will prosper the prosperity of this country. Akwabio, I will miss you in the Ninth Senate, but we will definitely meet on the streets of Abuja. I thank you very much, my colleagues. The battle to salvage this country is not a battle of no retreat, no surrender. We should continue to stand by the truth, not minding us us is God. Congratulations. Assalamu alaikum.